Yo, AB Academy, what's going on? It's your boy Avery B. As you can see from today's title, we got something extremely different. We got a video that I never did. It is a tier list video, you feel me? But before we get into it, man, let me tell you the inspiration behind this video. So as you can see from the title, it is a productivity hack tier list, bro. And I'm about to be ranking some productivity methods, hacks that I've used in the past, that I use today. And I'm about to rank it from... S tier to D tier, man. S tier is going to be top of the top. As you can see, it's a life-changing. D tier, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, eh, eh, I ain't really fucking with it. You see what I'm saying? So, y'all know I like the productivity stuff. I like waking up early. I like doing certain things, certain hacks in my life to make everything better, man. Make my existence better. Y'all know that. Y'all be watching this channel. So, hopefully y'all like this video. Make sure you comment down below if you want more types of videos like these. I know y'all been saying y'all be rocking with the reactions and stuff. I got a lot of those coming soon throughout the week. Make sure you subscribe. Roll to 40,000 subscribers over here, man. Clap it up for y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in, man. So, let's get straight into it. First up, it says five minute rule. Now, what is a five minute rule? Five minute rule is basically like if you don't feel like doing something, do it for five minutes and see if you still want to do it. Nah, <laughs> you feel me? Man? You know what I'm saying? I don't really do that. I don't really like think of it like that. I I do um know this one tactic where it's like if it takes less than two minutes to do, do it right now. That's good. I fuck with that. But the five minute rule, I don't really, I don't really incorporate that. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't into that. Next up, eight hours of sleep is life-changing, bro. Sleep is so underrated. Sleep is a thing that, oh my gosh, if you get a lot of sleep, bro, your days, your mornings are going to be so much better. Y'all know me, bro. I am a morning person. I love my mornings. I love productive mornings. And my mornings ter are, are terrible if I don't get enough sleep. So eight hours of sleep is a W. Even though I don't get eight hours a lot, bro, I'm a type of person, like, if I get six and a half, I'm amazing, you feel me? But if I get eight, shit's crazy. Next up. Deep work music. I'm going to be honest, bro. This is something that I really do. What I really enjoy. Like, literally, I was listening to some before this, bro. Like, I always listen to deep work music or even instrumentals with no mu with no um, with no um lyrics. I like listening to that when I'm on my locking in shit, when I'm in my locking in mode. So, I'm going to go great. A is don't skip. Like, that's something that you just don't skip. I skipped the deep work music. Next up, bro. I know you see this image, bro. This is no fat, my nigga. If y'all don't know what no fat is, you probably do know what it is because you a guy watching this channel. No fat is basically like not whacking it. You know what I'm saying? For me, bro, I'm going I'm to put this at good because I don't really got a problem with that. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people probably got a problem with, with staining from whacking it or like watching certain internet sites but me personally i ain't really got a problem with that but i can see why it's good because if you're doing that is you probably you probably fucked up in the head it's messing your brain up and stuff like that so if you're doing that please stop for some people this might be s tier bro but for me i'm just gonna put it at good next up is daily tasks daily tasks is definitely life-changing bro Y'all know how I do my daily tasks. I see it on this board. Matter of fact, we might as well go to it. Trello. Trello is an app, bro, where I got all my task lists, and I basically knock out my task every day, and I do it with Trello. Trello, I don't skip it. I ain't going to say life-changing because you can literally do a task list like you can see right here on um, sticky notes, bro, on a piece of paper. So I ain't going to say life-changing. But definitely don't skip it. You should not skip it. Next up, eliminating distractions. This is a common one. This is obvious, bro. If you want to be productive, eliminate your distractions. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Great. I, I, I ain't going to put don't skip because I skip that motherfucker sometimes. Sometimes I be wanting distractions, man. Sometimes I want to do some crazy shit. You feel me? Sometimes I want to, hey, all right, fuck this shit right now. Let's have some fun. Until tomorrow, then we lock in. You feel me? That's how I feel. Next up is breaking down your goals. This is life-changing. For me, what this means is putting your goals into systems. Y'all know how big I am onto systems, bro. I just learned that recently. Well, not too, too recently, but recently in my life, bro. And it's been life-changing. No cap. Next up is Google Calendars. Life-changing. I love putting things in my calendar, bro. Like this, oh my gosh, like actually living out of your calendar will change your life. You never know how much time you got until you start time blocking, until you start understanding how long certain tasks take. Like, bro, Google Calendar and Trello put together, you're going to be a bad man. Minimalist. I'm going to put minimalist, bro, as 
cool. Because I understand, I understand, you know what I'm saying, the concept behind it. Like, right now, I don't really got too much on my desk. I got a computer. I got some water, headphones, you feel me? So, I'm pretty minimalist, bro. But then again, I do got a chain, though. You know what I'm saying? I do drive an expensive car. I'm not that minimalist, my nigga, you feel me? But... In the grand scheme of things, like I be having my moments where I'm hella minimal. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna put it at good. Morning walks, I'm gonna put that at man. I did that probably like three times in my life. It ain't nothing that when I did it, I was like, bro, my life has changed. So I'm gonna put that at man. Notion, I'm gonna put that also at D tier. Notion good, don't get me wrong, bro. But that shit confusing. I ain't gonna lie. For me, it's confusing. I know a lot of people, they live out of Notion. They got their whole setup on Notion. For me, bro, I tried it a couple times. Like, I didn't downloaded it, redownloaded it, deleted it, redownloaded it. But me personally, bro, it's just too much. You feel me? It's just too OD. Notion and minimalist don't match to me. Maybe I just got the wrong templates. You know what I'm saying? Somebody put me down. For me, not going. Next up, start with your toughest task. This is basically eating the frog. If you don't know what eat the frog is, bro, is that starting with your toughest task. You feel me? Putting everything in a priority list, starting with the hardest shit, going down to the easiest stuff, bro. I ain't gonna lie. This right here is life-changing. If you can do this every day of your life, bro, you're gonna be successful. <laughs> no cap. If you can start with the thing that pushed the needle every day, bro, you're gonna be him. Next up is unhook. I do not know what unhook means. I'm guessing it's like dis disconnect from social media. We're going to call this dopamine detox. That's what we're going to call it. I don't know exactly what unhook mean. Dopamine detox is definitely great, bro. I'm going to put that at B tier. You definitely need that to, you know what I'm saying, unhook and lock in sometimes. Sometimes we consume too much. We're too much of consumers, you feel me? We don't want to be consumers every day of our life, bro. You feel me? Sometimes you got to unhook. Sometimes you got to wind down. Sometimes you got to reset your dopamine so you can focus on what you need to focus on, which is work, which is your purpose, you feel me? Next up, waking up early. This is going top tier life changing, nigga, for real. I'm an advocate of waking up early, bro. I want to wake up every day, and you you notice how I say I want to, because I don't do it every day. I want to. I definitely need to, you feel me? But when I do, oh my gosh, don't get me wrong. I wake up early more often than not, my nigga, but bro, waking up at 5 a.m. is such a cheat code. Oh my gosh. Like right now, it is 9.45, and I guarantee you, oh my, bro, the stuff that I did today, bro, I didn't complete it a whole day. Literally, literally, bro, you feel me? And it ain't even 12 o'clock, it ain't even lunchtime yet, man. So waking up early is definitely going to be S tier. Next up is motivation. I mean, I said motivation, I should do with that. Next up is meditation. Last but not least is meditation. Pete, this is how I feel about meditation. I've meditated for a longer period of time before every day. And it was great, bro. You know what I'm saying? It helps with your mindfulness. If you got a lot in your head, if you got a lot of thoughts, if you feel like you got brain fog, if you feel like you got uh, monkey mind, bro, definitely meditation is for you, bro. But I'm going to put this. It's between C and B. You feel me? It's good. You know what I'm saying? It ain't something that's essential. It ain't something that I need to do on a daily basis. But it's definitely good. You know what I'm saying? So this is my tier list, man. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this of Productivity Hacks. Like, comment, subscribe, join the academy. AB out, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this. This is some new shit.